Hi, this is Dennis Spaeth. I'm with Cutting Tool Engineering Magazine, and we're here at IMTS 2012, visiting with Akitex EDM, a division of Absolute Machine Tools, and we're here at the Absolute Machine Tools booth, speaking with Pete Intahar, who's Vice President of Akitex EDM. Pete is going to talk to us a little bit about, you know, what we have to take into consideration when considering the spark gap equation during EDM, especially when it concerns micromanufacturing scale work. Uh, Pete, can you give us uh, an idea of, of what are some of the important factors to control that, that spark gap? Um, first and foremost, one of the most important things uh, is the flushing. Uh, in, in the, uh, during the cut of the part, you want to make certain that most particles are being eliminated during the process, the EDM process. So therefore, you can have upper flushing, lower flushing, along with the part being submerged. The last several generations of EDMing have gone to submerged technology. So as far as the spark and the gap, again, the, the flushing, but having the part encapsulated in water, having the upper and lower head of uh, flushing, eliminating the particles out of the, the gap. So it allows the wire to continually cut without having to break, which allows better finishes, it allows for uh, more accurate parts, and straighter parts as well. And, and is this uh, take into account um, the pressure of the flow? I mean, is that, how does that come into yes, play? Yes, you can actually, well, the, the machine has automatic settings. However, we also have manual uh, nozzles on the uh, control panel for the operator, so he can actually adjust the um, uh, pressures manually uh, to fine-tune it himself. So they can actually monitor the screen to see how the cutting is going and therefore he could actually manually increase it. So. so here you're demonstrating at the show, you're demonstrating some fourth hour work. Uh, but you know, can you tell us what some of the differences would be if you're looking at a thou um, or smaller in the microscale realm? What would be the differences to, to take into consideration? Um, first and foremost, when you start getting, getting into the smaller diameter wires, there's less heat that being generated. So again, it's going to allow for better finishes, micro finishing, and it allows for the least amount of recast layer, which you know, in the medical and aerospace industry, recast is, is a major factor. We're demonstrating here with 4,000 diameter wire. With our control, because we have the stable discharge, which we call the SD Master, the MST2, which is the MicroSpark technology, what we're doing with the 4,000 wire, we're actually able to show people uh, in a rough and two skims the type of finish you can get. And we're also featuring the corner control so you could actually see how tight of corners, ID and OD radius corners, where the two parts mate and, and they can fit together and slide together real nicely. And again, with very, very little recast layer. So we're doing this with a 4,000 wire in a standard machine using deionized water. The SD Master, the MST2 functions, allows us to not only achieve this, but in less cutting passes, which again, those are the very important factors for medical and aer aerospace industries. You can see how nice and smooth that goes together. So, superior finish, and it's so tight, it's hard to see when it's all put together. These, these are some more medical samples. This one here is uh, all carbide. We actually uh, had used a Hirschman spinner, so we're able to use the wire EDM as the cutting tool, like a, like a uh, Swiss lathe, yet we are able to turn around and, and make met small medical parts using a rotary spinner, which these parts, there's no way possible you can make these on a small Swiss machine. So not only are they very delicate, uh, but they're very accurate, superior finish. So again, uh, we have several capabilities. So th these are uh, being able to be done with the rotary spinner. This one here is actually just a sample piece to be able to show the turn and burn application. So if it were in the, one of our models, it would be considered a fourth axis. All our standard models, this would be considered the sixth axis. So again, this allows you to have the ability to make very complex parts in a single application on the wire EDM. Okay, Pete, 
I want to thank you for all your time and, and showing this well, thank uh, you, technology to us.